National Minister of Defense, Minister King Samir Shabazz. And today, uh, as we talked about, I've been working on A-frame shelter. And now, we can come around here. I've added on to my shelter. Now it looks like this. So I'm gonna just finish this up right here, adding more trees, little branches and uh, bushes that I've cut down. So let's go to this side. Add on, this is what we have right here. This was the basic framing. I laid it down with bark, as I told y'all in the other video, laid it down with bark, covered it with bushes, more bark, more twigs and wood over top. Now I'm getting ready to make a big giant bush. So you'll just walk right on past it and think it's just a big bundle of trees that's grown together on a tree that's called camouflaging. So now we're camouflaging our shelter, all right? So just show you how I'm gonna do this here. Just take the long ones and just pile them on here. Just stack them on. Get them down in there like that. Putting them down in the creases. Some of them, some of them I can just lay across. You know what I'm saying? Fill up the back here. Fill up the spine of your shelter. So stick these down in there real good. Grab a couple. Just pile it in. And this also, also reinforces. Come a little closer. This also reinforces the rain when it when it rains. So even though I got the bark and more leaves and piles and piles of bushes and more bark to actually uh, reinforce the leaks and everything, this will give it even more protection from the rain and even the cold, believe it or not. See, so it's a very simple process, family. All you got to do is use your creative mind. Don't let these crackers tell you that they're, they're the creators of what we have created in order to survive by nature. We are the original man. Also, you don't want to have it so sloppy looking where somebody could tell it was built there. You wanted to make it as camouflaged as possible, but also as real as possible. do now is lay these down real good at the tip of the spine here because that's definitely where I want a bulk of it to be because that's where my head is going to be when I sleep so definitely want to make sure I reinforce that part of the shelter very heavily Throw these up in here. But for the most part, y'all see what I got going on, right? All right, so just know when you out here, all kinds of ways you can protect yourself for black survival. And of course, I'm gonna finish this up and I'll see you on another segment. It's King Samir Black Survival Class, Black Power.